All right, what's happening? Y'all, it's your boy Rico from Street Scores. I just got home, as you can see, and we're immediately on to the stuff that doesn't even really matter. We're on to rumors. I just want to have some fun today with this video. We're going to do a dive into all of this lion season stuff that's going on right now because we have strong opinions from both sides of the Jaden Daniels versus Drake May argument. What Washington should do with the pick, and also a lot of people strongly saying what Washington Washington will do with the pick and all of these are completely contradictory so the will do's are crazy when you hear them back to back and things like that also we have some quotes from ESPN that interviewed Dan Quinn sounds like he may prefer Jaden Daniels but then we have a report that general manager Adam Peters prefers Drake May also, are the Washington Commanders the team most likely to trade up in the NFL draft? There's that rumor as well. So we're going to talk about the Jaden Daniels hype. Then we're going to discuss the Drake May hype. And then we're going to get to that last rumor right there. But before we dive into all of that, make sure you still follow that like button, still follow the subscription button, and still follow the bell next to that subscription button so you get notification each and every time I release an informative and opinionated video just like this one. Make sure you go follow the Facebook, the TikTok, the Twitter, and the Instagram. We're keeping y'all updated on all of those platforms daily just like this youtube channel i'm sorry for the couple of days that i missed but between vacation and between driving back for what 10 plus hours vacation and stuff like that wasn't able to get y'all a video yesterday but i promise y'all i'm keeping y'all up to date at least a video a day and especially when we start to get closer to the draft which starts april 25th i'm gonna be right back to doing like two three videos a day so make sure y'all stay tuned for that we're working on film sessions for the draft prospects i'm gonna keep y'all updated with the cap space i'm gonna probably do that video later on tonight maybe tomorrow morning but either way make sure y'all stay tuned without further ado instead of wasting more of y'all time let's go ahead and get to it man let's get it adam adam Again, this is lion season. I already said before the intro, this video is quite pointless. This is all rumor stuff. I'm just here to have fun. So let's go ahead and get that out the way. Let me give that disclaimer twice. We are here to touch on pure ignorance. Now, there are some really interesting points that are going to be provided throughout this video. There's some really interesting stats as well. Make sure you stay tuned for those stats too. But for the most part, this is just a lot of rumor, lion season stuff going around. And again, we're going to start with Jaden Daniels for the first half. Then we're going to talk about Drake May for the second half and how each of those guys are being hyped up and people are strongly giving their opinions one way or another and not even just their opinions but their predictions as well that's the craziest part you'll see so starting with the Jaden Daniels hype first of all as of April 4th shouts out to my boy Mason Kinahan for pointing this out recent NFL draft analyst mock drafts you have Phil Yates Jaden Daniels Mel Kuyper Jaden Daniels Lance Zerline Jaden Daniels Brooks Jaden Daniels Mosher Jaden Daniels Pauline Jaden Daniels and even Tankathon Jaden Daniels and a lot of those people had Drake May at first now it seems like across the board you're seeing a lot of Jaden Daniels for a lot of the top draft analysts not just mock drafts everywhere but a lot of the top draft analysts those for example are all switching to Jaden Daniels recently does that mean they heard something does that mean that they more so feel like that's what the commander should do or will do based on predictions who knows there also Matt Miller, shouts out to my boy G Carmi21, George Carmi on Twitter. Make sure you follow him as well. He tweeted, cool exercise by Matt Miller and Jordan Reed. They did a quarterback only draft. And for commander's purposes, Matt Miller selected Jaden Daniels at two. And then they had Giants take a Michael Penix at 47. But either way, with the Jaden Daniels pick, he said the commanders have kept their plans for the number two pick pretty quiet, which is, again, why this whole video is just really nonsense. We're just here for fun. We might not know which quarterback they will take until they turn the card in on draft night, but I have them doing the right thing here. He said the right thing. So Matt Miller feels like us taking Jaden Daniels is the right choice and taking the best quarterback still on the board in Jaden Daniels. So after Caleb Williams goes number one overall, Matt Miller feels like Jaden Daniels is the best quarterback available. There will be calls about trading out 
of this spot the vikings should absolutely kick the tires but the new regime will likely use the pick to land its quarterback washington tied for 30th in the nfl in interceptions 21 and ranked 26th in yards per attempt 6.6 .6 last season with sam howe that would change for the better with Jaden daniels the reigning heisman trophy winner daniels is an amazing runner and downfield field thrower who started 55 games in college and is pro ready coming out of brian kelly's lsu system so hey man there you go he continues to add like a a whole bunch of stats like yards per pass attempts yard per rush and completion percentage and things like that go check out that espn article if you want to dive into that because we have so many things to cover today that if i sat there and finished reading out all of that we would be here forever if i did that for every single article that we're going to reference today because that's not the only article we're referencing today also shouts out to at drake may mvp so he seems to be a bigger drake may fan than anybody else and even has drake may as his profile picture on twitter this is a commanders fans here shouts out to him too he's a great follow he's always bringing up a lot of the interesting news going on around the commanders land as far as you know espn just the general national media he's always one of the people that tends to see you a lot of things that are going down and retweets and things like that he said a college football coach compared Jaden daniels to chiefs quarterback patrick mahomes per bruce Fieldman of college football he said quote I tell people this outside of Patrick Mahomes I haven't coached against someone like this he's just very hard to defend we tried to force him to run it to take it out of his hands the throws he makes and the timing he has I thought was second to none he throws the deep ball extremely accurately unquote and I'm not gonna lie I wouldn't necessarily compare him to Pat Mahomes but I agree with everything that he said even if Jaden Daniels is known as the best runner of all of the quarterbacks in this class I feel like if you focus on taking away his legs he's gonna carve you up in the passing game which is why he just seems like such a again Drake May or Jaden Daniels I'm happy either way but I'm definitely leaning more towards Jaden Daniels because it's honestly like as a defensive coordinator what do you do to stop him especially like with drake may it's more so we're looking at him like ceiling projection he'll eventually become one of the best quarterbacks in the nfl but like day one Jaden daniels is like what do you do to stop him even week one of the regular season and then of course you also had adam schefter just a couple of days ago saying that we should pretty much just pencil in Jaden daniels to the washington commanders not necessarily put it in permanent marker permanent pen ink but they said just go ahead and pencil that in just like the same way that you feel about caleb williams going number one overall you might as well feel that strongly about Jaden Daniels going second overall and remember that's the same guy that predicted that neither Ben Johnson to Washington nor Dan Quinn to Seattle would end up happening when most people thought that 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 statement and, and that prediction was just absolutely preposterous at the time and he was willing to go 1v everybody else in the middle of the crowd swinging like no whatever y'all forget what you heard like this is what's really gonna happen so that same guy is predicting Jaden Daniels to the Washington Commanders and I already did an entire video just solely breaking down his exact over one minute long quote and everything like that so if you want to go check that out you can I just wanted to bring that up as well in the Jaden Daniels hype version of this because it was fairly recent and also less than a month ago pro football focus did their quarterback superlatives and Jaden Daniels was the only quarterback to walk away with more than one superlative Drake may won best over the middle that's it and that's still really good to have especially at the NFL level that's a very underrated trait but first of all in my opinion I feel like Jaden Daniels may not necessarily be the best over the middle but he's not afraid of throwing it I feel like it was more so a case of why throw it over the middle for 10 maybe 20 yards when you're the best slot fade thrower in entire college football land including Caleb Williams including Drake May everybody that's still in college and will be in college for the 2024 season in college Drake May was the best deep ball thrower and specifically slot fade thrower that's the most difficult route to cover coaches players tell you all the time it's literally impossible to cover that route and if you have a quarterback that's literally the best at it and then it's consistent at it as Jaden Daniels why would you throw over the middle if you can throw a slot fade for a 50 yard touchdown versus just throwing a regular slant for 20 why would you and, and again there's evidence that he will throw over the middle it's just that he didn't do it a lot and I feel like when he gets to the NFL level if the offense wants him to do that I believe he can I don't think he's afraid to but of course Drake May does deserve credit for being the quarterback that you could argue is best at throwing over the middle i just want to point out the fact that Jaden daniels i don't think was bad and then going back to Jaden daniels he won best mechanics and best mobility of course we all expected best mobility and i 
I would assume everybody should have assumed that he would win best mechanics as well, especially if y'all are really watching the tape. So I'm not surprised there. That makes a lot of sense. And then also Dan Quinn just recently as a couple of days ago has some really nice things to say about Jaden Daniels' process and specifically. First of all, he was asked, what does he look for in a quarterback? Going straight from the ESPN article from John Com himself, John Com said, like any coach, Quinn wants to see mental and physical toughness, accuracy, and arm strength. But he also knows how he likes to mess with quarterbacks as a defensive coordinator from the defensive view of things. And as a result, what he wants to see from them, quote, how quickly can they process something? Okay, it looks like zone, but it's really man to man. It's two high safeties, it's one high, Quinn said. All the triggers you want to get to, you can you do it after the ball gets in his hand? Can we disguise defenses to make them really have to figure out after the snap? The best of the best? I can process as I'm taking the ball and I'm going through the play. And he basically went on to say, that's what I look for. How do they respond when the unblocked blitzer comes? Also, how quickly can a guy make the right decision? How quickly can he speed up when a blitz is coming? How quickly can he anticipate when those things happen? So I've really been mindful of watching and say, not just the throwing motion or the accuracy, but what happens, can you get out of a bad play? Unquote, that came from Dan Quinn. And when specifically talking about Jaden Daniels, he said, quote, man, they have had concepts and looks and different things and Jaden has been able to really process things quickly unquote so when Dan Quinn says that he covets mental processing that much and then says that Jaden Daniels like when asked about Jaden Daniels and Drake May the first thing he brought up about Jaden Daniels was his mental processing maybe that should ring a couple of bells but of course this is more of an Adam Peters team than a Dan Quinn team like I hope Dan Quinn stays here forever because I hope we're very successful under him. We'll win the Super Bowls and things like that. But at the end of the day, Dan Quinn will get fired before Adam Peters gets fired. So this is Adam Peters' decision, more than likely, who we're taking at quarterback. It's going to be pretty collaborative overall, but at the end of the day, it's Adam Peters' decision. So no matter how much Dan Quinn potentially wants Jaden Daniels, doesn't matter if Adam Peters doesn't, just to go ahead and throw that out there. And also just to throw these stats in real quick before we move on to the Drake May half of the video, shouts out to Josh Norris and Hayden Winks for these stats on their podcast and YouTube channel, the Underdog Fantasy YouTube channel and everything. They're doing breakdowns, all of the draft prospects. I would highly recommend go watching those videos. Really nice because they bring up a lot of crazy stats they're not necessarily doing like a film session like what i'm gonna do for y'all really soon but it's more so just showing a couple of highlights and then breaking down some really interesting stats and traits from these guys and they brought up the fact that Jaden daniels has the best epa per play of any quarterback drafted since the year 2000 plain and simple that that's literally the end of the stat but then they also go on to say his total epa only trails joe burrow and then his running EPA only trails Lamar Jackson, MVP Lamar Jackson, Westlake's own Cam Newton, and Westlake's own Malik Willis. Now, granted, Westlake's own Malik Willis hasn't necessarily worked out that well. I'm still rooting for him. That's my dog, you man. I got to stick with my Westlake guys. That's why I'm also rooting for Nate Wiggins, even though he didn't end up going to Georgia like he should have. He went to Clemson. He's still a Westlake guy, so I'm rooting for Nate Wiggins to be the best corner out of any corner in this upcoming draft class. Hopefully, he lands with Washington. We'll see. But man, those stats are crazy. Jaden Daniels, best EPA per play out of any quarterback since 2000 coming out of the draft. Only trails Joe Burrow in total EPA and only trails Lamar Jackson, Westlake's own Cam Newton, and Westlake's own Malik Willis in running EPA since 2000 as well man y'all got yo come on bro those stats are ridiculous also between the two quarterbacks washington has a top 30 visit scheduled and confirmed with Jaden daniels only not drake may yet between those two he is also michael Penix and Jaden daniels but between Jaden daniels and drake may no drake may yes Jaden daniels so far but just to let you know if you want drake may in the draft if you're more of a drake may guy do not panic because one Maybe Washington already has it planned or even already had the top 30 visit and it just hasn't gotten out yet to the national media, to us fans and things like that. Maybe they're keeping that a secret. Number two, even if they haven't yet, we still have over two weeks until the draft 
is here for them to get it done if they really want to. And then three, there's still a chance that they draft Drake May even without a top 30 visit. Like Adam Peters could be using top 30 visits as a smoke screen right now. You never know. Even though I don't, with us having the number two overall pick, this whole smoke screen thing I think gets blown out of proportion a little bit because who are we hiding our intentions from? The, the, the Bears are going Caleb Williams number one, like 99.99% sure of that. Again, as a statistics guy, I'm never going to say 100% anything is ever guaranteed. I was even saying that during the Ben Johnson thing. I was on the 99% train, but I refuse to say 100% because you never know. As a Georgia Bulldog fan, especially after what happened with the Caleb Down situation where he was literally coming in, already ready to sign paperwork, was looking at which dorm he's going to stay in, looking at rooms and things like that. For him to end up going to Ohio State, I was already the refuse to say 100% guy even before then after that you'll never convince me to ever say anything is 100% happening before it happens but it's just this whole like what do we what is the purpose of a smoke screen for the Washington Commanders because who can stop us from doing what we want to do if we want to take Jaden Daniels or Drake May it's not like we have the third or fourth overall picks where maybe we try to show them oh we're actually interested in Michael Penix so don't worry about us and then we try to sneak and take one of those other guys Jaden Daniels or Drake May we have the number two overall pick what what is a smoke screen helping us do now i do prefer to keep everything quiet i want to keep our hands to our chest i don't want anybody knowing our strategies because it could only potentially hurt you at the end of the day but i don't really see the, the why a smoke screen would be necessary with us having the number two overall pick is basically my opinion especially since everybody pretty much already knows 99 who's going number one overall it'd be different if we didn't know who the bears were taking and maybe we like caleb williams more then maybe i could see it but i I mean, this is a sure with the number two overall pick that you're going to get the guy that you plan on getting as possible is like as close as possible so i just want to go ahead and knock out the fact that yeah maybe adam peters is throwing some smoke screens out there but me as enrico i'm just looking like for what basically but you never know but it's still interesting that Jada daniels is confirmed and that drake may is not it may be news it may not be i just wanted to let y'all know that but moving on drake may hype now let's get into the drake may stuff and again I love both prospects. If Jaden Daniels didn't exist, I would be very excited about getting Drake May. I'm completely on board with either of the two quarterbacks. I prefer Jaden Daniels, but I really like Drake May as well. And so Mason Kennehan shouts out to him again for the second time in this video. He went and pointed out, where do we stand one month later and three weeks until the draft? So March 8th, he gave an update on the popular selections for the Washington Commanders at number two. And Drake May was winning by like a considerable margin like he was like 60 percent himself now as of just a couple of days ago drake may is still winning but he went down a little bit it's 48.7 percent Jaden daniels is 34.9 caleb williams is 11.6 because i guess a lot of people are still holding on to the hope that caleb williams may actually make it to the second overall who knows though i'm not saying it's impossible and then other was 4.8 percent so drake may still winning by more than double digits but it's less than what it used to be as of march 8th he was like at 60 something percent now he's at 48.7 but again i want to re-emphasize he is still leading then there's also a report that just came out from fox multiple sources told fox the commanders will select unc quarterback drake may with the second overall pick not should not maybe not we think they could they will that's what the source said that's why it's so amazing how strong these opinions are for one side and the other because there's so many people saying what's gonna happen and everybody can't be right with as strong as everybody's opinions are it's just crazy but they went on to say there are many people around the nfl who view those tidbits as smoke screens when talking about Jaden daniels or jj mccarthy to washington and basically multiple sources tell fox that the commanders will take drake may and also a new york sports reporter that covers like the mets the knicks yankees all of those people had an entire draft quarterback breakdown of what he predicts will happen it is a long tweak so buckle up for this one at legend sports 7 his name is john freshella Skella, I believe that's how you pronounce that. And he said, my takes on the conflicting quarterback stories of the NFL draft based on draft slot. Number one, Bears are taking Caleb Williams, no trickery here. 
Number two, lots of reports of Jaden Daniels going to the Commanders at two, but I now believe Washington is selecting Drake May. I don't know what information changed for him, but that's what he has in this tweet. He didn't care to explain why he changed his mind. Number three, Patriots like J.J. McCarthy because of the Tom Brady connections. Don't worry about the athletic stuff. Just win, baby, win. They'll probably take McCarthy with Daniels as their second choice. Then number four, Giants moving up the four to get Jaden Daniels is more likely than the Vikings or Broncos. Vikings love Drake May. They probably won't trade up for Jaden Daniels though. Then six, if the, if the Cardinals stand pat and take Marvin Harrison at four, neighbors at five to the Chargers, the Giants get Jaden Daniels or JJ McCarthy at six, exactly what they want in an ideal world. Pick 11, Vikings consider Michael Penix a Bo Nix, but probably just balk at the idea and roll with Sam Darnold for the 2024 NFL season. Draft next year, maybe trade back out of 11. And then 12, Broncos consider the same thing. Penix or Nix? I think Sean Payton likes Nix better than Penix, and Payton might panic and take Nix or trade back and look to get either quarterback a a little bit later so that's his whole rundown of basically how the draft is gonna go centered around the quarterbacks pick one two three four six eleven and twelve and then also pro football focus did a draft version of buy yourself very recently like as of when was this this was literally april 2nd five days ago they said as far as lsu quarterback Jaden daniels will be the second overall pick by the washington commanders they said sell they said sell that, and then when it came to J.J. McCarthy, he would be a top five pick. They said buy. So really interesting. That all goes in Drake May's favor right there, especially the fact that Jada Daniels will be a sell to go number two overall. So Pro Football Focus and multiple sources at Fox Sports feel like Jada Daniels will not go second overall. It will be Drake May that goes to the commanders second overall, just to let y'all know. Also, Vaciano said that multiple NFL sources don't believe Drake May will get past the commanders at number two overall. And he was doing a whole video centered around what the Giants will do at quarterback. And in that article, he said that he believes and multiple sources around the NFL believe that Drake May is going second overall. So basically the Giants shouldn't count on him being available. You need to focus more towards Jaden Daniels and JJ McCarthy from his point of view. And then probably the biggest news, if true, there was a report that at Scott D NFL that covers the draft, he tweeted out report commanders GM Adam Peters has long been a fan of UNC quarterback Drake May per source. He visited three plus of the closed door practices last year with the 49ers, an unusual thing to do. As I dig into the UNC situation, there's a lot more juice to come here. Stay tuned. So basically, he's trying to put out the breaking news that Adam Peters absolutely loves Drake May and even in secrecy sometimes last year went to a lot of their closed practices to watch him and He's basically assuming that Adam Peters did not do that for Jaden Daniels. Like I said earlier, doesn't matter how much Dan Quinn, Cliff Kingsbury, any of these other guys prefer a certain quarterback, even if it is Jaden Daniels. If Adam Peters prefers the other quarterback, which could be Drake May in this case, then we're more than likely going to end up taking Drake May. Just to go ahead and give y'all the heads up. It's the Adam Peters show. Of course, he's going to defer to those guys. He's going to take their opinions in occasionally. It's going to be a collaborative effort. He's going to hear them out. But at the end of the day, if, J if Adam Peters feels very strongly about the fact that drake may is the best quarterback for them at number two overall then that's what we're gonna end up taking and then shouts out to declassify wft on twitter for pointing this out he said that he heard nfl on xm said that drake may physically had andrew luck level talent that is super high praise and awesome if true what separated luck and manning was their superior football minds no matter where he ends up may's career arc is going to be incredibly fascinating to watch and i completely agree whether drake may ends up with the commanders if he ends up with another team i'm gonna watch every game of his because the whole thing around him is that has the highest ceiling but he's not the most day one ready it may take him time to get there he may be somewhat of like a jolly josh allen level maturity where maybe it takes a few years or maybe justin herbert maybe he goes out there and is immediately ready to go crazy week one who knows i'm gonna keep tabs on drake may no matter what because no i mean really i'm gonna keep tabs on all of the quarterbacks in this class to see if we made the right decision going down the road and it's not just gonna be uh after their rookie seasons, we can make final conclusions to what happens. No, I'm going to track their careers for the next 
few 10 plus years to see where everybody ended up to see if we made the right decision just it, say we draft Jaden Daniels he wins offensive rookie of the year that does not necessarily mean that we won immediately I'm gonna keep track of these guys 10 plus years down the road and see if we really made the right decision but of course team fits and it's not just the quarterback winning is a quarterback stat but there's so many things that other play a factor into that so we also have to take that into account as well that even if a guy isn't necessarily balling out as soon as you possibly think it may just be because he went to a bad situation and I feel like the commanders actually have a great situation like I've said in several videos before I feel like out of a top two picks that a qu that quarterbacks could ever land on with the Bears have going on with the free agency that they had and with the commanders have going on with the free agency that we had and all of these draft picks and the new coaching staff new front office Adam Peters and all of these guys I feel like these are some of the two best top two picking teams ever for quarterbacks to land on in draft history. I feel like if I'm Jaden Daniels or Drake May, please take me second overall commanders. Not even just because I prefer to go second over third, but it just looks like the commanders have a way better setup for what they're trying to do than what the Patriots have. And then again, what most teams picking second overall and number one overall in drafts have. Because remember, the Bears technically aren't a number one overall pick team. They got that from the terrible Panthers. Bryce Young is going through it right now. He He's on the situation that you usually expect the number one pick to be going through. Not with, with, with the Bears and the Commanders have going on, I don't see it anywhere near as bad as what usual number one overall pick teams look like. Number one and number two overall picks. That's more so with the Panthers have going on. I feel like the Commanders are definitely closer to what the Texans were last year than what the Panthers were last year, in my personal opinion. So I feel like, hey man, if I'm one of those quarterbacks, please take me Commanders. Please. <laughs> please. And then also, before we get up out of here, the last rumor that I did want to address, shouts out to at Drake may mvp as well and this is coming from at nfl draft scout which is of course matt miller again this is my second time shouting out at drake may mvp so make sure you go follow him on twitter he said when asked which team would most likely to trade up Matt Miller says the commanders Miller believes the Washington commanders are the team that would most likely move up for a tackle in the first round as they currently hold the 36th and 40th picks in the second round. Both second round picks would be sufficient to move up to 16 per Jimmy Johnson's draft trade chart. Possible tackle candidates would be Olu. Fashanu, that's how you pronounce his name now I'm hearing recently, Troy Fatanu or Tyler Guyton. So if we really want to, if we really want to trade up to the first round to get a tackle after taking quarterback second overall, you could potentially take the 36th and 40th picks both in the second round and then move up to number 16 and get your elite starting left tackle that's going to be protecting your biggest investment in your number two overall pick. So it's very possible. And again, Matt Miller just just straight up out of nowhere asks which team is the most likely to trade up it's the washington commanders for a tackle out of all nfl teams out of all scenarios out there matt miller immediately thought about us first but yeah man that's the end of this video please get in the comment section let me know if you feel about everything discussed in this video please stiff arm that like button stiff arm the subscription button stiff arm the bell next to that subscription button so you get notification each and every time i release an informative and heavily opinionated and rumor filled video like this one again i'll let y'all know beforehand that this was just going to be pure nonsense we're just here for fun but these are reports and sources that we're hearing around who's right who's wrong who's just making stuff up it's lion season I'm, I'm not here to necessarily give you the answer. I'm just here to give you all of the data, all of the information that's out there on the internet, and then you come away with your own conclusions. Now, of course, make sure you do not leave this video without leaving a like. I really appreciate it. And again, now that I'm back from vacation, I'm about to be going crazy with content. So stay tuned for all of that. I really appreciate y'all. Again, make sure you go follow us on all of the other social media platforms, especially the Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, and Instagram, all, and Facebook, all of that type of stuff, man. I feel like I repeated one of those at least once or twice, but whatever. We're going to keep Keep it pushing you get the deal man you know i got a whole lot of yard work to do since i was gone for a week so i'm sorry i'm all over the place right now make sure i stay tuned i really appreciate y'all coming with more content probably gonna come out with another video tonight so stay tuned for that i'm gonna catch y'all later appreciate y'all i'm out